All right. Uh, they don't open till 10 today. Whoa. <laughs> this parking lot is icy. Icy. Straight out of the thrift yeah. store. Looking for Paul's galore. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, it's your boy Burf. And guess what today is? Today is thrifting day. Today's big thrift day where we hit up four thrift stores, two thrift giants, thrift city, and goody will. So I'm gonna jump in the car. I'm gonna head over to Louisville and we're gonna start at Thrift Giant and then make our rounds the way we usually do. And hopefully we find something good. I've been kind of deprived of thrifting because of the weather. Haven't really gotten out to, you know, experience the thrift store hunts, although we have done some Target toy hunts and Walmart toy hunts. But uh, I'm ready to be thrifting again, man. There's the thrill that you get from not knowing what's on the shelves when you enter the store is just unmatchable. If you think about like Target toy hunts and Walmart toy hunts, when you go into the store, for the most part, you know what's gonna be on the shelves. When you walk into a thrift giant, a Goody Will, or a thrift city, you don't know. And that anticipation is what feeds me, right? Like gets me excited and uh, hoping that we get something truly epic. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. My friends, we are here. <laughs> All right, so, um, you know, I was once told that only douchebags wear white sunglasses. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm heading into Thrift Giant. We're gonna see what kind of goodies I got. But man, I'll tell you, it looks like, there, I mean, there's nobody in the parking lot. There's no cars. There's only these two cars right here. There's just no two, those two cars, nothing else. Uh, and the lights don't, well, they look like they're on. Man, I don't know. They might not even be open. They might not even, that would suck, man. If not, we'll go hit up Goody Wheel. They open in 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed. All right. Uh, they don't open till 10 today. Whoa, <laughs> this parking lot is icy, icy. <laughs> Whoa. Um, they don't open till 10, but Goodwill should be open at 9.30. That's what time they normally open. Um, so let's head over there. We'll check out Goodwill first. We'll do things in a little bit in reverse today. Check out Goodwill and then make our way back. So let's head that way. Goody will, goody will, goody will, goody will be good to me today. This lady over here walking, she is, uh, she was looking at me. <laughs> she was like, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? So anyway, all right, let's head in there and uh, let's see what they got, something good. You know, I'm always embarrassing myself and I'm always embarrassing my, my family, my, my girls when they're with me, my wife and daughter. So. But uh, today I'm by myself and I don't give a f <laughs> All right, enough of the goofiness. Let's head in and find some toys. All right, let's see. What do we got on the shelves here today? Anything good? What's this? Model Max, no. Anything down here? What's this here? So far, nothing, nothing worth grabbing. Hmm, shelves are kind of bare. I almost want to just, you know, I think I might buy this finally today. I might be able to do some sort of custom with it maybe. 
you know what? Let's take this guy home today. He's been sitting on these shelves for probably eight months, nine months, 10 months. Oh, wow, check that out. That's pretty cool. That's a cool poster. So check this out. They want $15.99 for this book. And I just looked it up on eBay and you can literally buy it for like $5. I saw one person bought it for $1.99. Come on, Goodwill. Same with this thing right here, $7.99. You don't need to be doing eBay prices, Goodwill. <laughs> Stuff for free. All right, <laughs> we finally gave this guy a home. There's nothing left to him. He actually sold it to me for 99 cents. So, uh, got him for a dollar seven with tax. But after seeing this thing sit on the shelf for like, I mean, I'm not even joking, like eight to 10 months it's been in there. I just couldn't bear to let the poor thing continue to have his soul tortured by no one accepting him for who he is, you know? And I couldn't let him go on living in depression and being filled with anxiety of why does nobody love me i love you so <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna take this home and i'm gonna do something cool with it I, I might actually i don't know i might do a scene where the thing catches fire i might paint it up to look something i might do a custom out of it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i'm gonna do something cool with it it's gonna be more of like a prop than anything so this is a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, by the way, just in case uh, it is missing everything, like totally, it's been just gutted. So, all right, well, let's head back to Thrift Giant and let's pray that the thrift gods are good to us today. So I'll see you over there. <laughs> We're back at old Thrifty Pants house. We're gonna go in there and see what he's got on the shelves for us. So let's say that prayer. Got the official the official t-shirt right here. Thrift gods be good to me today. So let's say it right now. Thrift gods be good to me today. All right, well, I just walked in there and they said, we don't open till 11. So they don't open till 11 today which means we still have like an hour to kill so i guess what we'll do is we'll go man we're just like crazy day huh that's what snow does that's what snow does in texas makes things crazy so we're gonna head over to uh thrift city hopefully they're open and uh we'll check them out so let's head that way They're open. So here we go. It's go time, baby. Let's go time. So uh, I think the last time I was here, I found a giant bag of GI Joe weapons and accessories. How cool is that? So maybe they got some other good stuff in here today. All right, what do we got? What do we got on the shelves today? Anything in these bags of interest? No, it doesn't look like it. How about the shelves? What do the shelves have in store? Anything here? What's this? All right, I've never seen a cyborg before in a 12 inch, so I might have to check him out. Got some play sets. Batman and the Daily Planet. The Daily Planet, man, that thing doesn't sell for Jack on eBay. Nobody wants it. Let's see. Anything down here? We've got that same rubber dinosaur from a week or so ago. What's this? Hot Wheels. Some sort of Gatling gun, Nerf gun. Anything else? 
Man, I don't really see anything. Do you? All right, I just checked him out on eBay and he recently sold for $2. Sold for $2. So, and I can get him for $1.99. So I'm gonna pass on him. I'm gonna pass on him today. Sorry, Cyborg. All right, so you guys know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, what do we got in here? Don't really see anything. Same old, same old. Well, no go. So technically, technically, we're scoreless. Not really, uh, not really counting the Teenage, Ninja, <laughs> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party wagon or whatever this is because it's kind of just a sympathy pickup, a sympathy score, you know? I just felt bad for him, so I'm not really counting this, but uh, we got about 30 minutes to kill, but I'm just gonna drive around. I'll meet you over at uh, Old Thrifty Pants here in just a few minutes. Hey, you know what we can do? We actually, uh, there's an antique gallery. I've taken you there before. Uh, there's an antique gallery. It's got some vintage toys and stuff in it, uh, both modern and vintage. So let's pop in there real quick just to kill a little time before we head over to Thrift Giant. Here we go. The antique gallery tea room. They got lots of cool stuff in here, so we'll check it out. All right, let's see who they've got on the shelves here. Bib Fortuna, Hammerhead, TIE Fighter Pilot, we've got Darth Maul, some X-Men. It's a cool looking fig. Spider-Man. This is Spider-Woman. Let's see. Some McFarlane. Those are cool. Alright. Alright, we got some vintage Star Wars here. What else? This place is like a Hot Wheels collector's dream. Look at all these Hot Wheels. Over here, back down here. Oh, check this out. We've got Inspector Gadget. I would actually get him if he wasn't like kind of chewed up right here on the top of his hat because I've never actually seen those toys. And then we've got this glass case with the Pez dispensers. The Canyon Sky Cycle, Evil Knievel. And then we've got uh, Mr. T from the Rocky movie. And we've got some Elvis trading cards. Wow, I actually found this at Thrift Giant a couple of weeks back and I didn't get it. They want $5 for it here. I think that's what they wanted, $3.99 or something at Thrift Giant. I'm gonna pass on it again today, but it's interesting to see it here. Ah, uh, check out that motorcycle. I went $4.50 for it. That's kind of cool. Oh, we got some Power of the Force figures. Let's see how much they want for Luke here. Is there a price tag on him? I don't see a price tag. Uh, I kind of dig that 3PO. I've always been a fan of 3PO. Looks like there was a price tag on them. Oh, there they are. They're on the bottom. $15.89. So that's $15.89. Well, here's a Sand Trooper. $10 for the Sand Trooper. I would have thought he might have been a little bit more. So let's check out Stormtrooper Luke. $30. Bucks. Yeah, I want $30 for him. And the card. The card's in okay shape. But it's uh, definitely a little warped in places. Oh, look at that. Lily Munster. Nice. 
Ah, oh, look at these Planet of the Apes. All right. I want... Oh, only 10 bucks for him? I might just pick him up for $10. Jeez, I might get them all for 10 bucks. So they want 15 for her. And then uh, 10 for him and then 10 for these two. I think I'm going to pick these up. Oh, man. My brother would love that Hellboy. 2000 They want $200 for him. That's a nice one, though. Come on, check it out. Indiana Jones, the gold idol. I want two fifty for that one. All right, what do we got over here? What's this Joker? I love Jokers. And they want 30 bucks for him. Here's those. Classic TV series figures. Man, I love these things. Oh man, do I love these things. I want 20 bucks for them. Which I guess isn't that bad of a price. Oh, look at this penguin. I have most of these, these uh, this Indiana Jones line from like 2007, 2008. I've got a ton of them. They're cool, they're really, really cool. This is new, this wasn't here last time, this battle pack. My brother just picked this guy up. I'll have to ask him what he paid for him, because they want 20 for him here. And then, Mad Hatter, Catwoman, Two-Face, got the Joker and our boy Batman. What's this? Black hole. Got some Justice League figures over here. This is new too. This also was not here last time. It's a uh, rebuild Darth Vader. I wonder what they want for that. 20 bucks, huh? Got a little lock, shock, and barrel from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Some more Justice League Unlimited figures over here. What's this? Well, for a second I thought that was Brave Star. <laughs> I was like, oh, that would be cool. And these are the, the $50 ones here. Walking up the side of a building. I'll put them like this so we can get a better look at their faces. There we go. I've got to get in real close to get, get the glare out. And then we have the Bat Cave, Bat Computer. Oh, let's see, they want seven dollars for this guy right here, Clayface. Someone was just telling me about Clayface. I wonder if I should uh, look this up real quick on eBay. They only want seven dollars for it. Maybe it's worth something. So we got a bunch of starting lineup. Mainly baseball figures and hockey. Um, here's some basketball down here. I don't see any football. And then I thought this was funny. It's a Ross Perot pen, interchangeable pen. Squiggle jiggles. Well, that's Nice artwork on that. What do they want for that? $69.98. Decided to put these guys back, by the way. <laughs> Not going to get them. Changed my mind on that. Hercules. <sighs> Check out these Nintendo game cartridges. Sega Genesis. Those are some old ones. 
What are these like are those like Game Boy cartridges? I'm not a hundred percent, but those are some tiny, tiny cartridges. Oh, what do we got over here? Some NES Ring King Football. Blades of Steel, Tecmo World, Tecmo World Wrestling, looks like, uh, dude looks like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, anything else, uh, John Elway's quarterback, I remember that, yeah buddy, nothing was, nothing was better than Tecmo Bowl though. How can we not take a look at the Atari cartridges? Asteroids, classic, Missile Command, Super Breakout, Goal Position, Defender. Man, there's some great games here. Warlords, I've never played Warlords. Cosmic Arc, what's that? Oh yeah, I remember playing that game. Frogger, this frog cartridge. Oh, see. whoops! Yikes! Oh man, hey, that was fun, right? So hey, we killed a little time. It's just a few minutes before eleven. It's about ten minutes till. So we're gonna make our way back towards Thrift Giant, and uh, let's. Let's get a score today. We need a score. We need a really good score. All right, finally, we made it. We made it. I see the line has formed. So we're gonna go get in line right now. Thank God and please, and thrift gods, be good to me today. I need a score, man. All I got is this. Oh my God, is this? I'm gonna do something cool with that though. I am gonna do something cool with it. So follow me on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C to see some upcoming pictures of what I do to that. It'll be a surprise. I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna do it, but it'll be soon. So give me a follow over there. All right, let's go get in line. Sweet, they just opened the doors. Everybody just went in. I'm gonna grab my cart and get back to the toy section ASAP. All right, what do we got? We got more TMNT over here. Busted up dinosaur. Oh, what's this? Ah, that might be good for my Joes and my core figures. Yeah, let's put that in the cart. What else do we got here? No. What's this? Ah, pass on that too. Anything down here? Oh yeah, I put him back a couple weeks ago. Oh, check this out. Robot, huh? Dollar fifty-nine. I like bootleg stuff probably just get them from my personal collection and take them out of the box but yeah i like it believe it or not man that is a creepy looking wall hanger i don't know what that goes to that's strange though let's see ah uh, novi stars my daughter used to collect these she started collecting them one year when we went to the beach in Destin, Florida. Good memories. Ah, what's this here? What is this here? Interesting. All right, we'll put them in the cart. Check him out. McDonald's, or not McDonald's, uh, <laughs> Disney. Anything else down here? Oh, this is fun. Finger football. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get that just to take it home and try playing my daughter. 
All right, so even though this guy's kind of cool, his lightsaber is broken. So we are not going to get him. All right, just found this guy. Uh, appears to be selling for between $15 and $20 on eBay. So I think I'm gonna pick him up because I can get him for $1.99, I think, $1.59. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy too. Oh, look at this little guy. Activision. I'll look him up. Well, now, we're certainly not hitting any home runs today, are we? <laughs> All right, let's get in the car. I'll show you what I picked up real quick. So, again, nothing major, but I did, like I said, got the Mad Scientist Monster Jam truck, which sells for about 15 bucks. 15 to 20 roughly on eBay, but uh, got this because uh, I've got the Grave Digger at home and I think I've got a zombie one too. But anyway, uh, picked that up and then got this just for maybe my wife and I or my daughter Caroline and I. Caroline the Great! Maybe we'll play a little table tabletop football like we did back in the day in the at lunchtime in school, you know, make little paper footballs and play at lunch after you're done eating so and then i picked up the robot which really isn't worth anything but got him i'm gonna bust him out of this package when i get home so all right we got one more one more thrift store to check out another thrift giant let's head that way and call it a day and when i'm done i'm gonna stop by the cigar shop and get some tasty cigars and just chill this afternoon with this nice warmer weather it's like gonna be 30 or i'm sorry 47 47 degrees today so it's gonna be like a, you know, like beach weather, like a spa, you know. So, all right, anyway, let's let's head to Thrift Giant. Hey, look at that Waffle House, baby! Waffle House. <laughs> the last time I went to a Waffle House, I ordered my eggs over easy, you know. But oh, dude, they were like slimy and gross and nasty and like that was the last time i ate at waffle house and that was probably 15 years ago or more 15 to 20 somewhere in there Ooh. all right bud we're here at our final destination thrift giant Numero dos, number two, for those of you that don't speak Spanish. So let's head in here. All right, let's see what we got on the shelves. Anything good? Doesn't look like it. What's this down here? Nothing. What a bust today, huh? I don't see anything that is like sticking out. What's this? Clue parking file. Oh, it's like a board game just in a really nice uh, wooden box. All right. All right, what do we got here? Got a box. Box of toys. What's this down here? Some action figures there in the bottom. Let's see if I can dig those out to take a closer look at them. All right, well, I just got kicked out of Thrift Giant. <laughs> Not forever, but at least for today, they asked me to leave. Um, I was going through that box and I guess uh, someone someone else had already ripped it open and I was going through it trying to see if there were some action figures that might be worth something in there so I could make a decision on whether or not I wanted to get it. And apparently they don't like that. So they came over and they just said, sir, we're gonna have to ask you to leave because we don't know uh, you're being kind of suspicious <laughs> sort of thing, you know? And I was like, what? I'm like, it was already open. It was already open. I said, I was just, digging through it and seeing if there was anything worth anything getting 
you know, whether I want to buy the whole box or not. And then she was like, well, I'm just gonna have to ask you to leave right now. Had an incident on my Instagram uh, a couple days ago. Uh, somebody sent me a DM in SJW. I'll have to do a video on it. It's a long story. It was funny though. It was real funny. So just somebody getting triggered over the fact that like they didn't think I was putting the toys back when I would go to Target and take them off the shelf and lay them down and then like not put them back up. But I always put them back up. As soon as the video is done, I clean up whatever area I mess up. But I guess it doesn't look that way on video. And this person got extremely triggered, like became a big pussified crybaby over it. So I'll do a whole video on it so you can see the conversation that took place. It was hilarious. We were rolling. Oh man, so many crybabies in the world. So many crybabies. But anyway, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you are the first to get every episode I release. And I do release new episodes every single week. Also, like and comment on this video. Uh... I don't even know what to tell you to like, you know, what to ask you. Like this, this was a big bust. The whole day was a big bust uh, from start to finish from like the stores not being open on time to, to here, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, have you ever been frustrated on a toy hunt because things just didn't go your way? So let me know. And uh, also give me a follow on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and rock is spelled R-O-C.